welcome to Logan Sounds Off, where I talk about books, music, and a whole lot more. I'm your host, Logan Kelly. Hello and welcome to Logan Sounds Off. Today I'm doing an album review on On Sunset by Paul Weller. And this was released by Polydor in 2020, so not too long ago since the time um, of this recording. I'm going to start off with Mirrorball, which is a great song, and I really like the start of this song in particular, Lou, because it has a rock and a pop vibe to it. And I really like that, and that carries on throughout the album. So this was really the perfect song to start off on Sunset, as it really gets you set up for the rest of the album. The next song that I like to talk about is Baptist, and I feel like this song has a blues vibe to it, along with the rock and pop vibe um, from the last song, because this kind of mod, it's, it's, it's very cool music. Um, I feel this song is kind of, it's a good follow-on from Mirrorball, but it's not the same as Mirrorball. It's a bit different, but it, it really sounds amazing. I really like Paul Weller's music, all together as a whole and um, he's a very good musician he has some brilliant albums like Stanley Lee Road, On Sunset, Fat Pop, True Meanings all those kind of albums are brilliant five stars all of them but next is Old Father Time this song is a big hearty song I really liked it the vocals were very powerful throughout it and a lot of the songs on this album have a lot of hearty vocals and hearty vibes to it it's it's a very nice song and i really like it and it has some really mad instruments on it for example the mellotron vibes kind of thing it says um by paul weller he actually did the mellotron on this he also did the claps the bass the piano the electric and acoustic guitars he was the lead vocal and the backing vocal so some really really cool stuff there by him he he can play some very cool instruments he plays the mellotron on a lot of the songs he plays it on more village mirrorball and um, equanimity and um, which i'll talk about soon uh, he also plays it on i believe yeah rockets as well so he plays it on a lot of the album and i didn't even know about that instrument so you can just see how good he is playing all the different instruments throughout this album and i quite like that because a lot of musicians would play one instrument like guitar or they wouldn't even play an instrument at all throughout their album where Paul Weller, he plays a lot of the instruments and has a couple of people. For instance, like Steve Craddock in Mirrorball, he did a bit of the electric and acoustic guitar and the Moog and Andy Crofts helped with the Moog. So it's, it's, it's some, there's some very odd instruments and I... I say moog because it's just a weird word and a weird, I, I presume a quite an odd instrument to be able to play, but it definitely fits with the album. Um, but next song, I can really relate it because it's called Village and I live in a small little village. So I really like this song and that's not the only reason. It has some brilliant, brilliant instruments in it. Um, Paul Weller plays the lead vocal, the backing vocals, the electric acoustic guitars, Piano, bass, whirly, mellotron vibes and strings and the roads and the monotron on this. So, I mean, he put a lot of effort into this one song. So he was in the studio for a long time making this album. And literally a year later, he came out with another great album called Fat Pop. So he works quickly, but he doesn't make bad music. And I really like that. So he's a very good artist. But next song that I'd like to talk about is Mora. And this is a really light, gentle song. I love it. Um, the lyrics and woodwinds nearly and shakers are magnificent on this song. It's really cool. And this actually has drum programming in it. It also has drums and percussion. But it has some drum programming. A yak as well. Cello. A viola. A violin. Um, two people play the violin actually in this. And there's a brass section, which was arranged by Steve Trigg, 
in this as well, who also played the trumpet, Steve Trigg did. And um, that's just to name a few of the people who are on this. There's a massive lift, lift, lists, not lifts, of people who are on the songs on this album. So it's it's very cool. There's literally on Walk and there's even a guy who just does the drum fills. There's a guy who plays the drums and a guy who does the drum fills. So there's a massive difference. But it, it's really cool. So next I'm going to talk about another song that's really cool called On Sunset. And this is probably the greatest on the album, along with Village and Walkin'. And I'll come back to Walkin' and you already know about Village. But On Sunset has some really nice instruments in it. Again with the Moog. Um, it has an orchestra brass section um, by Pere Orchestra. Pere um, is the people who did this. It's a weird name, but trust me, it's not a weird... Uh, orchestra um, section it's quite it's quite nice and that was arranged by Phil Viacock so it's it's not the same Steve Trigg so he's got different people on this it's it's mainly Phil um, though who organizes a lot of the stuff um, for the string section and the brass sections but next up another song that's really nice is Equanimity so you will not believe how many times I have said that wrong. Like I mean, Moog is just I say I can say that wrong, but I just this I had to practice on this song, this particular title. But along with the great name, this song has a relaxing swing beat to it, um, and that's really nice. I really like the swing beat throughout this album. It's really nice. He has a good idea of what an album should be like Paul Weller does. He also has a good idea in like what the album looks like. For instance, on the inside of it, it shows everybody who's on the album, which is very important for credits, obviously, because a lot of people want to be known that they worked on this album. Because this was quite a significant album when this came out. But he's got some cool pictures in there as well. And not like poser kind of pictures, actual cool pictures of himself where he's like looking at different things. It's it's quite cool. Um, and again, he doesn't look like a poser. So it's quite cool. Um, but next is walking. And uh, it's it's not walking, which I found out, it's walking. And I like this song because it has a cool soft piano, um, as well as a lovely beat with really catchy lyrics. Um, so I, I really, really like this song. And this is some kind of, this is some cool kind of instruments in it as well. It has the Rhodes synth samples as well. Paul Weller did the samples actually on this song, the sampling. And um, there's there's the, there's a guy for just drum fills, Tom Van Heel, who also does some backing vocals. And um, there's three women who do the backing vocals as well, along with Tom Van Heel and Andy Crofts and Paul Weller. So there's a lot of backing vocals. There's a trombone, a post horn, a trumpet, a tenor saxophone, a baritone saxophone, and a saxophone solo by Lee Thompson. So it's quite a cool kind of song. But next I want to talk about Earth Beat. And this, the sound used at the start of this song are eerie, atmospheric and cool, at the same time matched with great vocals. And I quite like that. Um, so actually, Paul Weller did not do the sampling for um, this. Um, but there was a kind of, there was a new appearance on this song from the usual people, uh, Call Three Train, which he did the additional vocals. But it's, the, the person who did the sound effects is the, is Jan Stan Kibbert. And um, so that's very cool. And Pereira Orchestra is back with the orchestra on this song. So it's very good. And this was released as a single before the album came out. So I didn't really listen to the singles, I only listened to On Sunset, that was full stop, because I really liked it. But then I started listening to the singles after it was released, and then I heard it again here, and I thought, wow. But next is Rockets, and this sounds like David Bowie so much, and I really love it for that reason. He wasn't trying to be Bowie, which is nice, but he still sounded like it, which was also nice. And I love David Bowie, so, it's like Paul Weller, David Bowie, mash them together, you get rockets. And I mean, Space Odyssey, rockets, that's all I'm going to say. 
But <laughs> this was a brilliant album, and I really enjoyed this. So I am rating On Sunset by Paul Weller, recorded by Polador, or sorry, the record company being po- Polador, um, released in the year 2020, I am rating it 5 star, and it completely deserves it. Thank you so much for listening to my album review, and look out on my social media and my YouTube channel and my website if there's any new ones coming out. Bye guys! I hope you enjoyed listening to this episode of Logan Sounds Off. You can follow me on X, Facebook and Instagram at Logan Sounds Off. And don't forget to subscribe and not miss any more cool episodes. Bye guys! Bye guys!